Hello, the, the video you are about to see was made for soldiers who deploy to austere conditions. But understanding of how cavities happen and how they can be prevented will help everyone stay cavity free. This video was created and produced at no cost by Dr. Lillian Landrigan, who is solely responsible for its content. If you would like more information on how to prevent cavities, please email her at the address shown. This is not a commercial endorsement for any product or service. In theater, for many reasons, soldiers face increased risk of developing dental cavities. Most people think toothbrushing is the best way to prevent cavities. And people with cavities, well, they just don't brush their teeth enough. Surprisingly, dental research studies show brushing teeth alone will not prevent tooth decay. There is much more to this story. Most tooth decay starts with dental plaque. Plaque is a film which continually develops on tooth surfaces. It is usually white, but it can also be clear. It is made up of many different kinds of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. These microbes, along with salivary gland products and food particles, stick to the tooth surface. That make up dental plaque constantly change. Factors like saliva flow, diet, and the immune system all determine which ones survive in the mouth. This model shows how plaque forms on the tooth surface. Each microbe attaches to the tooth at a particular stage of development. Many of these microorganisms work for us and we need them to be healthy. Good microbes protect against pathogens which cause diseases in the mouth and spread to the rest of the body. Bad microbes in dental plaque, too. Mute and strep, for example, is a group of bad bacteria which begins the cavity process. Under the right conditions, these bad bacteria can overpopulate in the mouth and put a soldier at high risk of dental decay. This is a list of good bacteria which can live in dental plaque and some of these protects the mouth against pathogens. Here is a list of bacteria that produces cavities. The best plan is to keep the bad bacteria at low levels and the good bacteria at high levels. This will reduce the risk of getting cavities while protecting soldiers against many other diseases. So what about brushing? Well, it is very important. Brushing teeth reduces the numbers of bacteria especially before and after sleeping. During sleep, less saliva is produced in the mouth. Without the antibacterial saliva, bacteria can quickly increase their numbers. Brushing and flossing before sleeping removes particles of food, sugars, and bad bacteria. Even though there is less saliva protection, few cavities will form during the night. Brushing again upon waking rids the mouth of any bacteria that multiplied during sleep. This reduces the risk of cavities for the day. So, don't throw away the toothbrush. And remember to brush before and after sleeping to reduce cavity risk. Bacteria needs sugar to multiply. The best sugar to produce cavities is sucrose, the most commonly used sweetener in processed foods. Carbonated drinks, juices, and sports drinks all contain high levels of this type of sugar. Sipping them for long periods of time adds a constant supply of sugar to the mouth and overwhelms the rinsing action of saliva. The best way to lower the numbers of bad bacteria is limit the sugar that feeds them. Drink these beverages quickly and then rinse with water. Do not nurse a sugar drink for hours. This is the most significant factor, the longer the sugar is in the mouth, the greater the cavity risk. Some people think diet drinks are okay, since they do not contain sugar. Unfortunately, the bad bacteria can survive on the chemicals in diet drinks. So, choosing diet drinks over regular sugar drinks, is not a good idea. The best drink is water, to reduce cavity risk. Astonishingly, starchy foods contain hidden sugars. In the mouth, a digesting enzyme called salivary amylase converts starches like rice and potato chips into sugar. These sugars fuel the bacteria just like sugar drinks, gum, and candy. Frequently, small pieces of starchy food remain stuck on the teeth and slowly dissolve into sugar feeding the bad bacteria for long periods of time. So remember starve the bad bacteria. Eat starches quickly, then rinse with water to remove food particles. There is another way to kill the bad bacteria. Xylitol gum. It contains a natural sweetener that kills bad bacteria. It is very effective when used on a daily basis and is available in gums and candies. Chew two pieces of xylitol gum once a day for at least a minute. This will kill large numbers of bad bacteria. 
causing a reduction in the cavity risk of around 70%. Xylitol gum is also packed in your MRE. Xylitol may cause diarrhea. The body may require an initial period of adjustment. Xylitol disrupts the balance of bacteria in the gut. And it may take 10 days until the gut flora adjusts and symptoms go away. For most people, the cavity-preventing benefits of Xylitol far outweigh this temporary side effect. Our cavities. This is a preventable disease. Things can be done to lower the risk of getting cavities. Understanding how cavities happen is the first step to preventing them. So, briefly, here is how cavities are made. As food and drink enter the mouth, sugars feed the bad bacteria. The cavity-producing microbes generate a sticky covering from the sugar, and this coating allows them to attach on a tooth. Once attached, the bacteria divides on the tooth surface population of bad bacteria, other microbes enter into the sticky covering. These form a complex web called a biofilm. The biofilm produces acids which remove calcium from the outside layer of the tooth. Here is where fluoride from toothpaste helps prevent cavities. Fluoride substitutes into the molecule which makes up the hard outside layer. The new fluoridated molecule is resistant to the biofilm acid and fewer cavities are formed. To keep this protection, teeth must be exposed to fluoride every day. Soldiers can get this exposure from fluoridated toothpaste at least twice a day. This source is very important because the water in theater does not contain fluoride. Once biofilm removes calcium and other minerals, a defect becomes visible on the tooth. When the tooth is dry it is chalky white but looks normal when wet. This is called a white spot lesion. It is not a true cavity and the damage can be reversed. But mouth conditions must change, and the bad bacteria reduced to prevent the defect from progressing deeper. Recaldent is a food additive derived from calcium which can remineralize white spot lesions. It is available in toothpastes, candies, and chewing gums, like Trident and Textra Care Gum. Look for the Recaldent logo on the package. MI varnish is provided at the dental clinic or in your dental deployment pack. This is fluoride with Recaldent. The sticky gel is painted over the teeth with a small brush. It sticks to the teeth and adheres long enough to ensure both the recaldent and the fluoride are absorbed into the tooth surface. The tooth becomes resistant to the biofilm's acids. And white spots are remineralized. MI varnish reduces the cavity risk up to 60% for 6 months and then it is reapplied. When the cavity process continues a bacteria called lactobacillus moves through the first layer down into the second layer. It uses the channels made by the biofilm. This layer is more vulnerable to attack because it has less mineral content. Lactobacillus produces acid and demineralizes the area near the junction of the two layers. The acid causes calcium loss and destroys the second layer. The normal hard structure is turned into soft moist areas that provide no support to the top layer. The outside layer is now unsupported and vulnerable to cracking. Eventually, the pressures on the tooth are too much for the damaged tooth structure. Cracks appear in the, the outside layer. The large hole inside the tooth now becomes obvious. This is called cavitation and it requires dental treatment to restore the tooth. The story of how cavities happen centers on three main factors, susceptible tooth, sugar exposure, and levels of bad bacteria. The greater the overlap of these factors, the greater the risk of getting a cavity. The things discussed in this presentation plus an understanding of the cavity process will reduce a soldier's cavity risk while in theater. So let's review. Here are a few ways a soldier can reduce the risk of cavities during deployment. Make the tooth less susceptible by using cavity varnish to strengthen teeth with fluoride and remineralize white spots with recaldent. Keep sugar out of your mouth. Don't sip sugar drinks or chew sugar gum for long periods of time. Try drinking water instead. Remember, potato chips and other starches become sugar in the mouth so avoid snacking for hours. Kill bad bacteria by chewing silot all gums or candies. Better yet chew gums that also contain the remineralizing agent recaldent. Remember to brush and floss teeth with fluoridated toothpaste before and after sleep to get the most benefit. These small changes reduce a soldier's risk of cavities and ensures combat readiness.